this is Bootram playing Boom Beach. So welcome to the Quest to 600 series this is episode 2 and we are at the moment on 432 medals. So let's see what we're going to use today. We're going to use tanks and medics. It's going to be awesome to try these troops as always. We're going to go for NPC bases and also resource base that I found when I was uh, exploring the map. So I'm very very close to getting a dark statue masterpiece as well. Um, it's gonna be so cool to see if we can get a gun boat energy from the uh, the dark masterpiece or resource reward. Resource reward is also really awesome. So I made it to terror stage 17 today and I really can't get past the 17 now. I'm, I tried like 5-6 times but I couldn't make it with my warriors. So anyways we are on the pole position level 31. We we're using the tanks and medics um, for killing the NPCs because uh, when you're using tanks and medics going on NPC bases, it's 95% you won't lose any troops at all. But doing the tanks and medics um, setup on the real player base with a low level tank and a low level medic is very, very hard. So I stick on the NPC when I'm using the tank and medics. So the sniper towers here. Um, Sniper towers can do some decent damage on tanks, but it's not like the cannons and the boom cannons. The boom cannons is like one hitting my tanks and that's like, ouch, 30, 35 minutes lost of time. So uh, I really need higher tanks and better medics when I'm going against real player and against boom cannons and cannons. I need, also need more firepower because uh, when you're getting tanks out on the beach, um, you almost can't do nothing you can you can only you can like do you can only only use like one barrage or something so basically we are on the uh, headquarters now and it's taking some time but look at the medics they are like working on the tanks fixing the tanks up uh, the mortars or the rocket launchers aren't doing any damage so I'm having fun with the medics um, when I'm using the tanks and medics, I usually look at them. I look at the medics, the way they move. I really like it's really cool. So the headquarters on like five percent, and it's going down the last shot now. Boom, it's down. It's basically down. So we got one medals out of this uh, victory. Uh, we could got the, like um, two medals from that, but that's all right. Four hundred thirty-three medals now. And we are gonna go on the area Danielle. 29,000 gold. I really want that. Um, I think gold is a really hard thing to get now. Okay. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be really easy going on this base. Um, only sniper towers are the uh, major threat there. Um, the, the cannons behind there, I can actually take them out with a barrage. I can barrage barrage the rocket launcher there and basically kill the uh, cannons behind the um, missile. So, so the cannons are down now. And the, can the tanks are working their way up to the headquarters. Steady. Steady and slow, but we like it. We like it. I really like how they move the tanks. Okay, the threat is actually over. The uh, three of the cannons is basically down, and the last cannon I really don't need to kill because uh, it's not in range for my tanks. The tanks have really, really long range when they're uh, shooting the uh, the rockets on the headquarters. Look at this, guys! Look at this! It's going really fast. Boom! It's dead. It's dead. Okay, we got one medals and one crystal, I think. I think it was one I saw there. Yep, one life, one life uh, uh, shard or fragment or what you call it. I can't remember the name. I really can't remember the name of the crystals. Okay, we are on the cluster bomb. Um, there's one threat we have um, at the front there, a cannon, and the behind there. I think we're gonna work on the cannon um, on the north side there. It's down. It is down. So we got a cannon that we really need to work uh, with the south side. We're gonna stun that up. Look at the cannon, just uh, just doing damage on my tanks, like 30% or 35% with one hit. 
and it's not even upgraded cannon, it's like really bad upgraded cannon. It really just uh, blasts my tanks away. The, uh, the machine guns cannot do any harm against the tanks, even though they are really high level, they cannot do anything to the tanks, they are like useless when the tanks are out. Same with the mortars and rocket launchers. And the, the major threat now is actually the sniper towers. We're gonna take we're gonna take care of those sniper towers. We are like 54 firepower. Ah, oh, it is amazing to use these units. Really amazing. They are like made of steel. Just soaking up the damage. Boom. And the barrage, I love barrage as well. It's like firing like everything away and boom, it's down. Yep, it's down. Two medals from the NPC base. Wow, thanks, thanks, thanks. We got a victory. Three magma fragments. Okay, let's see here. We still got kill zone level 28. Okay, let's check out this kill zone. Oh, uh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be so free. I can just basically put out my units now. The machine guns at the front there is gonna do no harm against my tanks. And the barracks is just tearing up the whole thing. Nice. Boom. And we're just gonna kill the sniper tower now and then we can just actually run against the headquarters is gonna be uh, totally easy now. Come on, come on tanks. There we go, there we go. We got the last uh, sniper tower. Let's take out the left machine gun there for fun. And actually we kinda... We kinda did it guys. We kinda lagged. Okay, we got another victory. Okay, we are on the resource base now. Uh, this is a level 41 resource base. Uh, this is a real player guide that set up space. I don't think that is a really, really good uh, setup by Genu. We got a sniper tower in the middle there, machine guns in the back. Um, the cannons are also. Uh, pretty much out of range to the headquarters if I'm gonna use my tank so this is gonna be an easy run for me I think let's attack this guy let's attack the resource base uh, we're gonna take out the cannon first the cannon first I guess we're gonna two hit that from the six tanks I'm using one two yeah it's down it's <laughs> it's, it's down Okay, we are working on the flamethrower now, and basically they are killing the tank there. Oh my god, 5% of my tank. I need to get it up. Okay. My tanks are pretty much healed up again. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna take a recall. We're gonna, we're gonna move back to heal the tanks now. We're gonna move back. I think, oh my god, I'm too late, I was too late smoke bombing my medic there, it was too slow, because when you're, when you're moving back with the flare and the medics are healing, remember to smoke screen your medics or uh, they will die, because they always will be behind the tanks, always, so if you flare behind or, or back, back again to the, uh, the, uh, the fleets, really need to smoke screen your uh, medics because uh, they are just gonna die uh, from the uh, sniper towers or machine guns or whatever you need to smoke screen when you're uh, pulling back to heal up your tanks okay, the only threat now is only the um, there's actually no threat because uh, machine guns cannot do any uh, they can't do any harms against the tanks look at those two machine guns they are like upgraded at least level 10 plus and 
they aren't doing nothing against my level 2 tanks. That, that is, level 2 tanks and the uh, machine guns aren't doing nothing on the damage. So, I think the, if this uh, guy, Genie, um, uh, placed, his, placed his cannon a bit more correct, he will like, be able to kill my uh, tanks or my setup pretty easy because uh, handling four more cannons, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to kill it. So I'm gonna rearrange the uh, the resource base when I'm taking this over because uh, I think the structure and design of this base uh, defensive isn't that uh, isn't good at all. Any any uh, almost any uh, setup can kill this. Um, a warrior rush would have done it, I think. I'm not sure, but I think the warrior rush would have killed this base pretty easy. So we're watching the headquarters taking damage, it's still like 5% and I'm almost like... I almost got this guy, I think it's one more hit now. Boom! We got the resource base from Genu level 41, awesome. Yep, we got it guys, we got it. So basically, when you have taken over a resource base, it always upgrades itself. So, uh, for example, you're attacking a resource base level 10, and if you win it, you'll get a resource base 11. So it's gonna be stronger, the resource base. Okay, let's let's clean this map and let's rearrange. Let's rearrange this uh, defensive uh, design. I'm gonna put my uh, flamethrowers on the right side of the um, headquarters and one on the left side, of course. The reason I'm doing this machine gun and two flamethrowers at the back is because if you get a warrior rush, you can pretty much uh, stop them by uh, having the flamethrowers uh, on the left and right side of the machine guns at the back. So let's place this thing. Okay, I need to put my machine gun in range of the headquarters in case of the warrior rush. So every AOE, well AOE is uh, spread out damage, it's um, it's uh, like multi-targeting uh, damage, what do you call it? Anyways, anyways, let's place this um, machine gun there. Okay, we basically are secured against warrior rushes now because we have flamethrowers, machine guns at site for the headquarters. And now we should think about moving the cannons correctly now. Because uh, if there if there's tank uh, if there's any tank there, we should be prepared for uh, set up in this base correctly. Okay, I think I want to have the sniper towers at the front. It's um. Uh, it's really important to have snipers towers as as a wall when you have the machine guns and cannons uh, like this. Okay, I think we are gonna put this sniper at the front, and we are gonna move the um, actually we're gonna move the mortar a bit further from the headquarters because the range from the mortar is, is pretty is pretty long. This is good. Yeah, I need to take the sniper a bit closer. Okay. Or actually, we're gonna take the machine guns stacked up together. We are in range with the headquarters. <laughs> uh, warrior rush won't kill this base. It's, it will be impossible for warrior to kill this. Impossible. And we're gonna move this quarry a bit away from everything, cause because uh, we want don't want to give uh, players three points when they're attacking. Okay, I think we're pretty much set up like this. Okay, let's place the mines now. We got three level 20 mines that we can uh, actually have use for. I'm gonna put them uh, 
I think I'm gonna put one in the middle and I'm gonna move the other mines um, near the headquarters. There we go, there we go. Yep, this is perfectly based now. This is perfectly based against any kind of troop. Um, a, ta a tank setup would struggle against this, and also Warrior Russia won't have any chance to take this base. Yep, basically, I think we're done. I actually think we're done with this. I'm uh, satisfied with the design. Sniper towers a bit closer, maybe. There we go. Yes, yes. This this is good. This is a good setup, guys. This is a perfect setup. I think this is perfect. Tell me, guys, what you think about my resource-based defense. I think it can handle tank and medic uh, uh, combination. Also, warrior rush. It's gonna be immune against warrior rush. Yes. There we go. Everything is in range now. To each other and it's gonna be awesome to see if any people attack this base and I'm gonna post you guys uh, 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 I'm gonna make a video of the defense of that design anyways guys this is basically it for today um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and stay subscribed for more and see you guys later goodbye Boom.